This set of slides is about the international sector and in this presentation we will provide an overview of the balance of payments. So the balance of payments is a record each country keeps on its transactions with the rest of the world. So the balance of payments will consist firstly of a current account. Now the current account includes exports and imports of goods and services and factor payments. So if exports are larger than imports, there will be a surplus on the current account. And if imports are larger than exports, there will be a deficits on the current account. Then the balance of payment also includes a financial account and that shows financial flows between countries. So those are goods and services that flow. These are financial flows. In other words, financial investment. So if there is a surplus in the financial account, it shows that there was a net inflow of foreign capital and if there is a deficit it means there was an outflow of foreign capital. Then there's also a capital transfer account and then also some unrecorded transactions. We will look at these later. So the current account an important good that is included in the current account that is traded in South Africa is gold. Services that are included in the current account refers to services such as, as transport, construction, etc. Income receipts are shown separately. That refers to income earned by South Africans in other countries, while income payments are money earned by non-South Africans in South Africa. Current transfers refers to money or gifts or services, etc. that are traded for nothing in return. So it's just money, financial flows that goes out of the country or comes into the country such as a gift. There's nothing to show in return. Then the financial account consists of different types of investment. So direct investment is investment made in order to gain control in the management of an enterprise. Portfolio investment refers to purchasing of bonds and shares. So this can also refer to purchasing of shares, but it means you buy enough to become part of the management of the enterprise. Well, portfolio investment will not imply that. Then there are other investments, which is really a re residual category. So it's all the investments that you cannot classify as a direct investment or a portfolio investment. Then there are some unrecorded transactions which are mainly there to balance the financial account. So you don't really have to worry about understanding those now. In this presentation we explained the different components that the balance of payments consist of.